So I really wanted to be a filmmaker starting out. Uh, I always knew I wanted to tell stories. JB Catholic was brand new when I attended. I was in the third class, but I loved just how hands-on it was. I love how it seamlessly integrated the writing, the producing, the video elements, but also with really sound theology and philosophy. The two people who jumped my mind immediately as just being amazing inspiration for what I write now. One is Professor Riley. He just is like the guru, the Yoda of writing. The other person, surprisingly, is Father Andy, who is not a writing professor at all, but he just made philosophy so easy for normal people to understand. And so much of my writing is driven by philosophy. After graduation, what I did was I got an internship at this company called ServiceNow Incorporated. First, it was just to pay the bills you know, enter data, stuff like that. But I pitched to them this idea of, hey, maybe we can create videos to help people know how to use our software a little bit better. So we started up this video team and this video department and we would create create these instructional videos that would go into the documentation. And while I was doing that, I felt this urge to do something a little bit more creative. So I started creative writing for an outlet on that. And eventually I wrote a novel. I wrote Love, Treachery and Other Terrors and published that. And I got to this point in my life where I had three things going on, being a mom and taking care of my kids, working this full-time nine to five at ServiceNow and creative writing. And I realized one of those three things had to go. So I said goodbye to the nine to five. Some people said that that was really scary. What was scarier to me was not being able to do my creative passion. So I ended up going to noveling full time. So the very first book I did, Love, Treachery and Other Terrors, that one I traditionally published it, right? I had an actual publisher come and edit it and they read through it and, you know, before they had even given me an answer, I had been doing some thinking and some research and I thought to myself, could traditional publishing do anything for me that I couldn't do myself? And I just didn't feel like it could. So I decided to go the self-publishing route. So I had to go through all the things you'd have to go through in a business. I had to hire a cover artist who actually knew what she was doing, was really good. I had to get somebody to do the interior design of the book and most importantly, get an editor for the book to go through, because no matter how good you are with grammar, there's always going to be something that you need that second pair of eyes. So Legend Fiction is a group of um, Catholic and Orthodox writers. We have a website called Worlds where people can go ahead and they just post short stories. Anyone can contribute to it. It's just a really awesome, supportive community. I always tell artists that you need to draw inspiration from your real life experiences. So, so much of what I write about, I draw inspiration from real life. And also, I draw a ton of inspiration from the Bible stories as well. So, what I would say is keep writing, even if you feel like it sucks, because a lot of times that's all part of the process. You'll find ways to make it better. All of a sudden, the creative juices will be flowing and you'll be like, okay, actually, I, this is a mess, but now I see what I need to do. If you're not where you want to be in life right now, don't let that discourage you. Trust God because wherever you are, as long as you're trying your best not to sin and you're praying, you're gonna be wherever God wants you to be. So just relax. <laughs> My name is Megan Dreggy Eccles and I am a professor of creative writing for the Humanities Program here at JP Catholic. I'm really excited because I see all this potential here because of the strong film background and because most of the students do have that understanding of plot and structure and character. 